Okay, here we are on our local boat ram with the Offshore 600 behind me. This is an exciting day for us because today is a Mercury day. Uh, we are running in the engine and um, we need a calm day to do this. And I want to thank a couple of people here. Also, very importantly, Greg from New Zealand who came out and did some upgrades on the vessel uh, last uh, few weeks. And um, Scott from Philip Island Marine from giving us an upgrade. Uh, you'll see there is a 200 now in the back of this belt so today we have a, a bit of a program which uh, the junior is going to help me behind me to run through uh, don't know if we're going to have enough to do any fishing but anyway important thing is first to run the engine properly a couple of hours minimum today and uh, we'll take you through it i was so excited even that I forgot my camera yesterday, so I'm doing this from the phone. I hope it's okay for you guys. So uh, let's see how we go for the day. I will show you a couple of things in the trailer and uh, anything else that happens during the day as well. So lots more to come. And before we go and put this in the water, let's have a look and see how the boys at uh, Philip Island Marine have in fact uh, installed the engine during uh, uh, the time that uh, the vessel was with them. Okay, while well, we're here, we'll just uh, give you a little bit of a look on the trailer and uh, how it's been set up. Just a couple of new uh, adjustments uh, on the bot catch. We've got a manual wire running down to the section here and then simply a large hook to um, unlock the pin when you're really riding on your soft. Well, if you don't have anybody else to help you, that would be another nice little trick and thanks to Bot Catch uh, team who uh, gave us the idea a uh, little bit about the trail as you can see heavy duty uh, really well thought simple unit um, but works it really really works um, what's uh, very interesting about this trailer especially for those who want to upgrade to a larger than two point two ton I should say uh, it, this trailer is pretty much ready to go it will do a lot more than two ton for sure as uh, we use exactly the same ones for up to three tons I'm pretty sure and it comes from the factory with uh, four hydraulic brake discs so they're all there and there so ready to go if anybody wants to upgrade the only thing they've got to do is uh, put the electric brakes on and uh, chase the little assembly there and uh, where you go so that is the uh, the trailer we use from uh, custom alloy marine which is a part of uh, uh, offshore new zealand boat team in new zealand and we are very very happy with this unit let me tell you so um, that's all for the moment let's go in and run in the engine
Okay, here we are with the uh, both juniors. We've done a um, running in for two hours on the engine, and we've done the first hour with absolutely no support with zip wakes whatsoever. Maximum speed we got out of this uh, was at uh, 73 74 kilometers per hour, which is fairly good. And with uh, zip wakes against the wind, about 13 knots against uh, the vessel we ended up getting maximum of 71 which is again absolutely no not 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 a problem at all uh, maximum revs was about five seven uh, against the wind but in the morning we went uh, around about the five five eight so we just reached five eight so that was pretty good the vessel went absolutely fantastic so a couple of little things now we have to work out before we go fishing um, and uh, we will get back to you with all the updates so that's pretty much it uh, i'll speak to you on the next one ciao